Hello everyone and welcome back to the Slayer of Kings. Last time, Kolek got in a great big fight and this time we're going to be demolishing Karazakrak. Partly because I can, partly because I want to see if I can draw Thorgrim and Belagar out. Because I still need to kill them both to wipe out the dwarf faction properly. Our resolve says the odds are about equal, slightly swaying in my favor if I had to guess. I disagree. Thanks to my very favorite exalted hero, who has been running around and stopping things since nearly the very beginning. We're going to have a great big fight. I think I'm going to win, because most of their troops are damaged and most of my troops are not. The Slayers are going to be a pain, though. The Slayers are very much going to be a pain. Because they're unbreakable! So even if the rest of the army is routed, not an easy task with the Dawei, I'll note. Not at all. Well, they're still going to be there until they die, because Slayers are completely fucking insane. By human standards. By dwarf standards, they're very, very normal. They're just holding an enormous grudge. Still, I should have enough firepower to demolish everything here. Yeah, a seven is a gamble. But that didn't change anything! I didn't even know that was possible, holy hell. Alright, you guys, get off. The chaos gods. Obviously, I want the Chosen on the towers to be great weapon chosen because I'm going to be fighting Dawi. Chaos Knights. My magic is ready. Alright, these guys should punch through into here and try and punch through that gate. These guys, I want over here to try and break that gate along with Rain Down Death. Chaos comes. Chosen. I'll have you guys over here to total. Nurgle's best at a boy. I really hate my right. Hands. guys just back up this assault because they don't want too few troops on this flank. Should be good enough. Pause. You should always pause when you're starting a scene so you can make sure everyone is properly lined up. Alright, and you guys can just climb, I guess. Lay! I have a feeling I'm going to be using a lot of magic in this battle. Reality bends. Cinches boom. Let's turn this unit of Thunderers into Fuss. Because Thunderers are actually slightly dangerous to me. Look, you idiots, I told you to smash the gate! Smash the gate! Not stand outside the gate, smash the gate! Chaos is magic! How's this gate doing? Probably not very well, because Dragon Dragonogers are pretty good siege weapons. Oh god, their artillery is deliberately focused on my sorcerer. Okay, uh, I need to fuck the, that artillery up right now. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa, you got- you already broke open that. That's really impressive. Get 
Get that unit of iron breakers quickly. I think I'll divert these two units have chosen to help punch through the gate it itself. See if I can get them inside the walls quickly. Because goddamn, that was impressive. It's a quiet reminder that Dragon Ogres are what Chaos generally uses to fight giants, and giants are no joke. Now this probably isn't going to be as effective as it could be. Given that we have natural magic exist, but... Well, it's probably still going to be pretty damn effective. I want the organ gun dead instead of the flame Real cannon, because flame cannons have issues with armor. Organ guns do not. All will be hell. Organ guns very much do not have issues with armor. Quite the opposite, they tend to blender armor. Alright, how's this gate doing? 51%, right. Continue the push! Play. Get the hammers. And we're seeing the steady slaughter begin. Now, normally you don't want to send your wizards into close combat, even as Chaos, so Chaos can get away with it a lot better than others. However, he's my only flying unit here. More importantly, I'm killing artillery. You're losing to leadership. What the hell? Oh, I think. Oh, the difficulty modifies my leadership. That's interesting. And annoying. Mostly annoying. Yes, Alright, what are you guys doing? You're climbing up on the walls. I want you to get in here and start killing iron breakers. You guys also start killing iron breakers. You guys should probably also start. You guys are still climbing. You guys. These two units should probably just move in and ch hunt down that thane. That unit have chosen is... These two units have chosen are still moving in, which is kind of weird. I'm a little worrying. Oh god, they've deployed the Slayers against the Dragon Ogres. That's smart. I don't like smart enemies. Well, actually, I do like smart enemies to fight. They're just very dangerous to fight. Imbibe their souls! Did they actually get a flame cannon quickly enough? The answer seems to be yes, Change they did. Kill them! Yes! The ever chosen the swords of chaos are through! The ever chosen the swords of chaos are through! Get in there! Let my Chosen fight on the walls! Tie down that artillery, good sir! Going. Move. Get out, get out! Going. Move. Going. Your mortal magic are nothing. Fireball the flame cannon, please, so you don't get too much wreck. <laughs> Hello! The ever chosen is here and he's coming for your ass for your ass! Chaos sorcerer! Chosen! Chaos Knights! The world will scream! Alright, Archeon, my boy! You've killed four men in, in under a few seconds! Man, Iron 
Breakers do still get wiped out before Do actually surrendering. Fucking chaos. Sorry, fucking Dawi in this case. Dawi do not screw around when they're making their troops stubborn bastards. Why are you guys just standing around? Get in there and kill things. Slayers are still a pain in the ass, but they're steadily getting chucked to pieces by large units of all things, which amuses me. Let's speed it up, though. Be the age-old method of the flaming sword of three. Make them even killier! With more missile with more weapon damage. And their army has shattered, there's just the slayers left to butcher. Which is, uh, 103 troops? That can't be right. Eleven, eleven, twenty-two. Okay, yeah. I think they were just having a weird little bug there. If I had a debuff, I'd throw it on the slayers. But as is, I think I'll just ch keep chucking buffs on my on my higher end troops. Kill Slayers! Kill them all! Come on, they're just Slayers, get up! They're giant Slayers that might have an issue. That's going to be added in. It's going to be pretty dangerous because they have an armor piercing and anti-large. So they're just anti-large. That would be very good for killing ogres. But those haven't been updated in yet! As the crack falls with 119 dead, dead chosen, and other units, but mostly chosen. No joke. They probably could have inflicted somewhere around 200 casualties. I'm guessing if they had been at full strength. Which, given I'm playing as chaos, is a very nasty infliction for one stack, especially with the AI. My Shaggath also got kind of pounded, but, yeah. Obviously, they're going to loot this place, though, because the Ever Peak has an amazing amount of loot in it, generally. If it doesn't, I'll obviously raise it, but I fully expect this place to have, like, at least 30,000 favor. Probably more. Who knows? Maybe I'll even see some of the old 100,000 plus favor numbers that you could get previously. Those were fun. Back in the days when you actually had to encamp as Chaos to replenish instead of just running around as a gigantic doom horde of pain and death. I prefer the doom horde of pain and death because it's a lot more interesting. Just sitting around for a few turns waiting is incredibly boring and not very chaos at all. That's where did I get from the battle? I got 5.7k. Nice. 50,000 favor. I'll take it. Karaz Akarak has been destroyed. Karaz Akarak is down. Begun. Ungram Iron Fist, you weren't fast enough. Why is he physical resist? Where's that from? I mean, the 30% ward save is a pain, but... Whatever. Alright, collect should be somewhere up here still. 
Yep, you need to spend another turn grabbing yourself dragon ogres, because they just eat up Volkmar cannot. again. Yes, again. Because Volkmar will never get a break. Except possibly a broken everything. That he can get. Quite reliably. So, now that we've opened with an actual fight, let's end the turn. Look at the pretty lights. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Wait, 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 wait. Because there's not much else to do. Oh, they're bringing in another army. And that one has quite a few great swords. The Empire is not screwing around with trying to stop Kolak Sun Eater. Hot damn. Ah, Ungrim is going to try and stop me at the Pillars of Grugni. Clever. Why, if I was any worried, I might actually not attack that. I'm not worried at all. I am not worried at all. <laughs> Looks like the vampire counts are slowly pushing the dark elves shit in. Slowly. Watch but watch them attack here and have both their armies disintegrate into clock. I wasn't actually serious! God damn, Vampire Gods, even auto resolve, you get fucked. Oh, hey, it's King Lowen Landker. I'm so afraid. Man, they could spawn the Fan Chandras. I might stop wrecking the Empire out of a mixture of petulance and because I can at this point. Lothar is still incredibly strong. I am very worried about what the hell they're doing down in Krokgar's area. Ugh. Or around Mazda Mundi, because at this point it's really freaking me out. I probably shouldn't be getting freaked out over something this simple, but I am actually getting freaked out. Agron is not going to extort me, is it? Because I'm now a higher strength rank than they are, because they've been fighting heavily too. Bail Samon Hydra Blood. AKA, I have regeneration, you little shit. Blackguard are scary bastards. Maywin, no! hey, you are a good, you are a very scary lady. Ah, uh, that's how, why they have lose. I thought that was normal, but no. No, that's for the uh, ranged dreadlords only. The melee ones get an ability that buffs the god. The buffs melee attack and weapon strength around them. Instead of loose. Which one is better? I'd personally say loose, because the Dark Elves have very scary archers. Dark shards are bastards. They should AP damage. Probably a peace treaty. Ha 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 ha, fuck off.
I understand why it happens mechanically, but people asking chaos for beasts have always amused me and annoyed me. Mostly amused me. Is that new unique? The rest is the obsidian blade and the charm shield. Me. Well, the obsidian blade is actually pretty decent, but it's not really anything interesting to talk about. It's just a blade that deals AP damage. 20 AP damage ain't bad at all, but... There's not really much to say of interest about plus 20 AP damage. And another other trickster shard. The scalings of the bards would have lots of other trickster shards. It's kind of weird. Like, kind of, I mean, it's really weird. Alright, Fellman Ingerson. You're not going to do anything interesting, are you? Much like Sir Tech isn't going to do anything interesting. Nope, he's going to walk around. Maybe he'll try and push back the undead. Fail, because auto resolve, Norskins, and the base game are even worse than the undead. Because at least the undead can actually threaten people. Ooh. If I go beat up Ungrim, they'll give me a sword. I don't really need the sword, but I'll do it anyway. Never and stop. Being paid for something thing you're going to do anyway is always a good idea. Cruel and deadly. Yes, yes, I'm sure you're very scary. I don't give a fuck. Fool. If I was going to fight you, I would have fought you already. Yikes. No. Tempest incarnate. Hey, Volkmar, face me in open battle, you scrub. Let's see if this is the same choke point, because I don't like fighting on choke points with chaos. It looks like it's kind of a choke point. The forest make it into a quasi one, but I think I can win this. Kill them all! Seriously, kill them all. The Empire just keeps shitting out armies. I keep shitting them to death. Maybe one day they'll prevent they'll present me an entire front line of great swords. That would be a challenge. Or at least you know it might slow down the chosen. A bit. A bit. Again, I'm probably just going to play aggressively, use ogres as a hammer to smash their ranged units, the usual tactics that I use with, with Koak. Because the front line of great swords is not going to be able to hold it up, but it will at least slow down. So I need to make sure they're wrecked enough that they're not going to be able to hold up once the front line of great swords arrives. All right, Kolek and your harem. I am mountain god. Chosen, tremble mortals. Now they're trying to hang back very hard. They're trying to hang back very, very, very hard. Which means I want to get hit them hard, and I want to hit them fast, and I want them dead right now. My magic is ready! You aren't even on a horse. 
Get over here, I guess. Move the shaggots in quickly. Otherwise, they're going to be able to set up their gun lines and artillery. You don't want them to do that. Empire has very powerful gun lines and artillery. And yes, they get a plus four leadership bonus from the difficulty. Interesting. Oh my! They have a griffin. And two witch hunters. One of which is old enough to have accusation. That is actually somewhat worrisome. Looks like they're throwing out all the anti-large into this flank. But really, they're throwing out anti-large kind of everywhere. Change directions! I'm getting bogged down by Alberts after all. I want to get bogged down in great swords and the like. One spell. That is a very worthy spell. And gunners! Smash them! Alright, now I need to actually start coordinating my infantry push. I think Halberdiers are going to lose against Chosen with Halberds. <laughs> Just slightly. Great Swords are actually a slight threat. They are the guys meant to protect the Elector Counts in the Fluff, so they're the biggest badass the Empire can get, generally. Fluff-wise. Fluff-wise, they also come in much smaller groups. Alright, then that should be everything. Play. Also advance slightly. Okay, yeah, dragon loaders do not have the staying power of shaggots. The Emperor's eye seems to be landing, though. Let's buff up my shaggots, this little knot of shaggots. Oh look, they have a gun line. Let's make it go away. And let's make this gun line have some issues too. Also standard eye, please. Damn it, damn it, damn it! My sorcerer's gotten pinned by great swords. I wasn't even paying attention. Shit, fuck. Ogres, get on that monster! Chosen with great weapons. Help! Help! Chaos sorcerer! You ain't this far off now. 
No, I mean over here would probably be better. Burn them all. Burn them all. Quickly. Watch them melt. All right. We've gotten them to the point where, where the issue is less killing them all and more pinning them all down so they'll die. This is the important point. Also, everyone's looking very shiny today. Run away! Because I don't want to lose my sorcerer. They're a pain to replace and level. Keep them from having anywhere to run. No retreat, only death. No matter what troops they bring in, cleanse them. Wow, this new Chosen has actually been taking quite a beating. These great swords have been killing well. Oh, that's adorable. You think you can? Get in on those swordsmen. They don't even have as good a charge bonus as your as you halberdiers, let alone actual combat ability. Move in and move in and move. At your command. Moving! The burning head is just so good for turning lines of handgunners and uh crossbowmen into pulp, really. Mulch. You're not moving. Why aren't you moving? And I didn't want to do that. Get in on that missile specialist. Oh, there's just suicide and kill those great swords, I guess. Smack, smack. They're both going to die to the great swords, or no, they're going to run away. Wow. Cowardly little shits. What happens to protecting your Elector count, huh? Evan von Leibowitz is ashamed of you, sirs! Ashamed! Where is he anyway? Is he still trying to kill things? Where did Evan von Leibowitz go? Both by the Grimm's still up. Lightning Bolt is a nice, dense knot. Seriously, Storm Rage is just great. It is so much fun. Those crossbowmen are going to get fucked. Man, there are a lot of troops that are pushing off the battlefield just by charging them really well. Shagath, keep, ch keep tracing. Sorcerer! Uh, why are you guys staying around? There are things right there to burn. Kill. Burning head, please. Melt. Now we have chosen on this flank, pushing through. Get up there. Man, I'm not actually in trouble coordinating all my troops again. I look so professional, don't I? Oh well, you know what else I look? Like a victor. And they've broken. Done some pretty vicious casualties. Probably mostly because of the great swords. Great swords is bastards. Oh, no, it was the Outriders. Yeah, that'll do it too. As you can see, Shagaths are good. Shagaths murder everything.
And I murdered their entire army. <laughs> like, holy hell, they have less remaining in Volkmar's army than I lost. They did not come out of this battle very well, the Empire. Because I just have such absolutely overwhelming force in my Shaggoths and Kolaks that they just cannot stop me. There's no elegance. There's no real cleverness here. It's true. No brilliant tactics. No, no trickery. No skill. That's what they get. They're the heroes here. These are the good guys. And I am a very, very successful bad guy. Curious how much casualties the great swords actually caused, though, because that second stack did have five cards of them. That's not a joke. Come on, come on. Oh wow, the witch hunters actually killed a lot of dudes. I know their job is to kill chaos, but damn. Kolak leveled up though. Slaughter captains! Kolak is now fearless. Charge bonus up, leadership up. Another point, freeze mutations to make my to finally cap off my Shaggoths. Look at these bastards now. Look at that melee attack. 81, melee defense, 60, charge bonus, 70, armor, 76. Collect does not fuck around. Mandacores need rank 20. So does immortality though. Get piercing bolts of burning. That's a good spell to spend magic on when you're waiting for the burning head to recharge. First off, you make this fight a little easier. Because I don't think Ungrim is going to be a fight that I'm actually going to be playing. We've already beaten him up once before. And he doesn't have the biggest, scariest army around. Though I did just fail in a soul unit, so who knows? Maybe he'll actually get challenged. And Auto Resolve agrees! This is not a challenge. Goodbye, Ungrim Iron Fist. Wow! Yeah, if I had played that, I'd probably killed a lot more, because Bugman's Rangers and the Rangers would not have killed that many. 225? Auto Resolve, you're a little shit. All right then. Handsome and lethal. I need to go manage Kolak because he did lose a unit. You do have some pretty dinged up troops. What's the garrison at Languil look like? Tempest incarnate. Camp. Let's just sit next to Lang Wheel and bully the hell out of it. Grab another Shaga. I cannot. Volkmar might try and come back in, but after that beating I gave them, I don't think they're going to try and fight me anytime soon. The 
Empire basically just chucked all of their armies at Kolak and they broke upon him. The Sun Eater does not fuck around. Death. The terrible pun is going to earn you a hammer to the face from Kolek. But later. Beat up vampire counts with the Sun Eater is later. Actually, fighting the vampire counts. Also later, really. Albert, you know your perk is terrible, right? And this kind of makes you look terrible too, and what the hell is that? Oh, a hippogriff! Right. For some reason I thought that was a griffin. But no, Butronians get hippogriffs, not griffins. I'm not sure what the difference is. And heaven's damsel, so terrifying! Lothar, could you actually do something of interest, please? Could you summon Tyrion to come and fight me? So right now you look like a whip. Whip! 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 And Nagaron is still weaker than me, despite the fact that I've get, been getting beaten up. Well, I guess they've been getting beaten up too by Lothurn somehow. Despite the fact that I've basically turned Lothurn's economy into a shit show. Their capital has been burned! This is going to screw around. Hopefully they can live long enough that I can take Trench Craven Tail's head. For the Slayer of Kings. Because the sword is ever thirsting. Ever thirsting, ever killing, ever ending. There will be no survivors. Or perhaps there will be, but none of them will truly be important. Because in truth, I probably could actually complete the official campaign objective of burn the Empire of the Dwarves in Bretonia to the ground. The Northmen are holding their own up north. The undead are busily burning most of the Empire. And I can probably turn the Empire's economy into shambles if I actually bothered with it. But just because I could do something does not mean I will. Horn to the ground here again. So, King Lun, how does it feel to know that your efforts were for nothing? Oh, the Filth Mace! That's one of the better weapons there is. It also sounds like a giant sex joke, but whatever. But how many settlements do the dwarves have left? Five. Eighteen. Eighteen. What the hell? Oh, wow, uh... The Greenskins are kind of screwed! Now, the Empire's kind of huge. Holy hell, they've basically pushed the Vampire Counts up into the north. 
If I went to that crusade, I could probably wipe out the undead. That means the Empire could focus down entirely on me with their ridiculous number of settlements. Holy hell. What's Lothar? 30 not! Someone's fucking with me. Not in the fun and slightly sticky way. Can Languiel recruit troops at all? No? There must be Globlane in then. Not likely. That you're going to survive, more like it. They do have encourage. Which is pretty normal, actually, never mind. Even Chaos gets encouraged. Even fucking Skaven get encouraged. And Skaven are Skaven. Skaven are a bunch of backstabbing psychopaths. Bring ruin. Granted, so is so are Chaos troops, but Forward unto you generally direct Chaos troops in at least the right direction. Skaven, not so much a lot of the time. Aww, Torian Frist doesn't have the thing that lets him have some silver helm in the garrison. Now I'm just going to burn you to death. Come on, you Frist. You could have been something cool. But no, you had to be whims. Is that going to be punching down south, though? Talia's not doing too bad for themselves either now that I look at it. Nagarond is a fairly solid backline. They tried to expand into here, but they're not doing too well. They did fight off that vampire count force quite effectively. I didn't expect to, one to win against two. I suppose that's the perils of the AI designed army. Alright then. The Empire! Let's watch them. Oh! You have your uh, talisman, the Amulet of Sea Gold. Not bad. The Empire's done nothing. The dwarves are probably going to try and fight me some more. He's going to try and chase me down forever, isn't he? And as long as he's on the hero map like he is right now, I can't actually fight him. He can just keep slapping me and slapping me and slapping me until I die. Because you can't beat the, the living ancestors when they're actually on the field like this. You have to actually get into battle, force them into an army, and actually kill them there. Techless, you little shit. Could you actually do something of interest? And the answer appears to be no. The little shit cannot do anything of interest. Attempted a pincer on the AI's part, but it didn't work out. Technically, still had enough movement points to run like buggery. And everyone's taking chaos attrition! Yay, chaos! Idiots. Meanwhile, Male Dicta is sailing off to somewhere. Who knows? Who cares? Why did you sail through a whirlpool? That is going to gut your numbers. Oh yeah, you're Black Iron Man. I said he is the man with the crown of Black Iron. That's how I remember him. Cause I'm a weirdo like that. Plan Rectus is unlikely to ever do anything of note. Wait for the 
exiles in the heck were not doing too badly either. They're not doing amazing, but they're not doing too badly either. Quite often, they'll just get their shit pushed in. once their troops, it seems. Oh, wow! I can get every single one of my great weapon chosen into a tower just instantly. I have to wonder what they use to calculate labor force for chaos, because chaos gets ridiculous labor force. Holy shit. I guess if you really would, the, a Shadeth is a very good lumberjack. Like, he's give them a giant honky axe and tell them to charge in, and you've got something along the lines of an overgrown, uh... Your what order his name? is dismissed. Paul Bunyan! <laughs> How did I forget what Paul Bunyan was named? Are you a god? I'm smart. S-M-R-T. Smart. What about this guy in honor resolve? Yep. Goodbye, good riddance, good stuff. You killed more than you should have, but I can replenish it off dead easy. It's the we do not fear getting. death. Wow, that is a lot of money. Oh good, you can level up. Get me the higher rank of piercing bolts of burning so I can throw it down more. Or, no, get power drain instead for more reserve. Because in two levels, you'll be able to get arcane conduit. Alright then. We'll end the turn and then we'll end the episode. I'm probably gonna continue trying to bully Old One with Sigvald, because I want this entire place is a wreck and a ruin. That's annoying me. Tyrion won't show. You're a fucking coward. Defender of Ulthuan is a coward. There is no other conclusion to be drawn. Blood of an area in my ass. Perhaps if you ask the dwarves, they would say he has the blood of Kaldor instead. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Coward, fool, <laughs> traitor, perhaps. Probably just too busy shagging the Everglade. And none of these other groups can do anything that matters to me. Because only the major factions left can even slightly worry me. Keyword, slightly. You see what one major faction throwing all our troops at me will actually do. With Kolek and the Empire. the Slayer of Kings. You're adorable. Fuck off. Really, they think they can extort money from me? Fools, idiots, and the damned. And of those, the only important ones are the damned. Alright then, so... Next time, we're going to continue burning Ulthuan, continue burning Bretonia, and hopefully we're going to be able to find Belagar again, because I did pass up a chance to kill him in return for dealing with a very nasty force of black orcs and giants, before I actually had to fight them on the field. The harder battles haven't been too much harder, but the AI has gotten better at the campaign map, what with how they've been burying me in armies. Of course. Throwing numbers at Chosen. We saw what happened with that with the vampire counts, didn't we? So, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or unit names, please put them in the comment section below. And for now, goodbye!